If he was really a prophet, why didn't he prophesy that I was sleeping with some of his sons in the church? T.B. Joshua might be gone, but he still remains one of the most controversial pastors to have ever lived in Africa. There is no denying the fact that T.B. Joshua has left a blueprint for most African pastors. As a tele-evangelist, T.B. Joshua had faced allegations for the most part of his life. Some are so bad, he would begin to question his life as a man of God. Here are top 5 scandals of T.B. Joshua that will make you question his authenticity. One of T.B. Joshua's most notable controversies took place in 2014 when one of his churches collapsed, killing 116 people, of whom 84 were South Africans who had traveled to Lagos to attend his service. One would wonder how a man who claims to know so much about people and their misfortunes could not predict the collapse of a building right under his nose killing the very people who came to him for hope. Now, this pretty much made South Africans very angry. Some even took legal actions against T.B. Joshua. Now, the last straw that broke the camel's back was when T.B. Joshua's die-hard followers went on social media to blame it on Boko Haram. And interestingly, immediately after the building came down, the plane never came back again. So let's assume that the plane was just on return flying over. Now the building has come down. Why is the plane not continuing? Believe it or not, there are conspiracy theories out there that claim the incident was some form of spiritual sacrifice for extending the lifespan of T.B. Joshua. It was also later revealed that T.B. Joshua bribed some journalists who covered the tragedy with 50,000 naira each to report the incident with a slant that presents the church in a good light. T.B. Joshua also refused to attend any press conference that was organized by the state government. T.B. Joshua is well known for his fake prophecies, or I should say, fake predictions. So during service, T.B. Joshua announced that there is a man here, you walk in the vineyard of God, and you 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 preg impregnate your... Uh, uh, like a prophecy? Like a prophecy. I see he saw it at that instant? He didn't see anything. I was the one that informed him. Uh -huh. The same... The same way other disciples inform him or about people that he will use it as a prophecy. It is alleged that his junior pastors or his disciples as he calls them feed him with information about the congregation before he makes prophecies in his church. T.B. Joshua predicted the pandemic would come to an end in March. Now he didn't just say March but he emphatically stated the 27th day of March 2020. And the year will continue to be very, very, very fearful. Till this month, this month 27, it will be over. And here we are still struggling with Corona. Again, one of the world's most important elections, the US presidential elections, was slated for November 8, 2016. Along came TB Joshua with his predictions. I saw the new president of America. Narrowly, there's a state that enormously 99% vote for this woman. And the woman, the woman narrow win. Three days later, President elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Soon after, the prophecy I gave here last Sunday, thousands of people, they went for fasting and prayer. Take God and cry, wrong. crying to God that God, please hear our cry. We want this to change. Wrong. Again, in 2011, it was all over social media that World War III was imminent. Thanks to a prophecy made by T.B. Joshua, reports stated that this would begin as soon as Israel attacks Iran. In a swift move, T.B. Joshua's team debunked the statement, saying, There is currently a rumor circulating that on Sunday 11 December 2011, T.B. Joshua predicted a third world war. Correction? Prophet T.B. Joshua did not say that there would be a third world war. We should be careful about changing a prophetic message to suit our own philosophy or our own worldview. Oh, really? Many people who have once served under T.B. Joshua came out to speak against the phony nature of the miracles performed in his church. They said it was nothing 
other than wizardry, magic, hypnotism, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you have astute eyes, you would notice TB Joshua's miracles and that of other phony African pastors are unbelievably identical. Allegedly, there is a special blog where girls are placed to serve the man of God, his junior pastors and other workers. The immorality that happens here, you can never fathom. Okay, so this one is quite arguable, at least from the Christian perspective. T.B. Joshua hasn't only claimed to have a cure for HIV, but on camera healed a person with HIV. According to the church's website, the man of God could cure just about anything, even to the extent of curing homosexuality. T.B. Joshua's legacy will forever remain as the most renowned and controversial African pastor of all time. Do you think all these are just made up stories to smear the pastor? Leave us a comment down there. As usual, I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.